Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today. There was a long-duration M-Class solar flare in CME a few hours ago. We've got the updated track of Hurricane Lee, a look back at a technological issue that happened during the surprise solar storm Tuesday, which we reported yesterday morning, and we've got a heliobiology story as well. But the focus in space weather happened with the filament attached to an active region, top right quadrant in the solar images. The release was a strong one that lasted for several hours this morning. On the right side of the X-ray flux chart, we can see the long-duration M-class flare, and it pretty obviously produced a CME. It is very difficult to tell from the coronagraph images if it is heading our way. I'd say there's a 50-50 chance given the breadth of the visible ejecta here. We'll see if the Enlil spirals update today, and if there is an impact to be expected over the weekend. Meanwhile, we'll also be monitoring the remainder of the active regions and the plasma filaments, including that massive one you see there beginning to cross center longitudes today. Moving on to Hurricane Lee, New England and eastern Canada on alert. The storm will likely clip the area before it bends out into the North Atlantic. That is also expected to occur over the weekend. Rip tides at the coast are highly likely. Folks, yesterday morning we reported the unexpected geomagnetic storm from the surprise CME impact. While that was disrupting the Earth's upper layers, Starlink had a nearly global outage. We've seen several instances of Starlink having trouble during solar storms, and I'd say this is highly likely to be related to the space weather event. Last but not least, folks, an excellent study confirming the impact of the geomagnetic disturbances on heart issues, including death. It covers the time up to 2019 data, so it's not polluted by the heart trouble related to the questionable medical stuff in the last three years, which is definitely a thing. But more importantly in this study, we'll get about the 50th confirmation that the conditions of the magnetic field are impactful on the cardiovascular system. Folks, below the video, you can grab tickets to the next Observer event. It will be Saturday the 23rd. Very much looking forward to seeing many of you out there. We greatly appreciate your support. Links are found below the video. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.